Welcome everyone. In this tutorial, we will learn Docker, how it works and how we can use it. Uh, the contents of my tutorial will be as follows. In the beginning, we have an overview of what Docker is, how it works and the idea behind it and why it's interesting. Uh, after that, we're going to be seeing how we can install it and get it up and running and then run Docker containers, uh, run them in the background as daemons or run them interactively. And then we will try and understand the difference between Docker containers and Docker images. Uh, and then we, can, we will see how we can uh, build our own Docker images, uh, build them interactively or automatically, and then uh, delve a little bit into the contents of Docker files, uh, what they look like and what they should contain. And then uh, after that, we will learn uh, briefly again uh, some basics of Docker container networking um, uh, and then we will do some interesting stuff with uh, volumes, how we can share volumes between uh, our host operating system and our Docker containers and then we will actually use uh, Docker containers as data containers so we can save data in the containers and then use that data from uh, other containers and uh, we will have a nice example where we can uh, run uh, Apache web server on a container and then uh, de develop PHP code outside the container on our host operating system and then see that uh, code reflected inside the container so we can use Docker containers for software development and things like that. Uh, and then after that we will see how we can link Docker containers so they can communicate with each other. An example is for example uh, a, an example is to have um, uh, Apache web server running on one container and uh, maybe uh, MySQL database running on another container and then the idea is to try and make these two containers communicate so for example we can have something running on Apache maybe some PHP code that uh, modifies uh, the, the, the contents of a database inside the other container that has uh, MySQL maybe modify it or retrieve data from there and we will um, end the tutorial by um, seeing how we can share a Docker container, so we, how we can upload it into Docker Hub and make it available so other people can uh, actually use it. I hope you're going to find this interesting. I expect this to be between 25 and 30 videos. They won't be long, so they shouldn't exceed 10 minutes each. And um, one thing I'd like to mention is that the material I'm going to be using is from the Docker website and from this very nice tutorial. This link here uh, provides a really nice tutorial. I recommend you to download it and go through it. So let me stop here again. I hope that you're going to find this enjoyable and let's begin by uh, explaining briefly what Docker is and why it's interesting. 